Hi guys, it's Jody. Today's video, I've got a color palette in mind that I want to use. I'm bringing back a color palette from uh, a while back and I want to do some palette knife swipes with it. So that's what we're going to do today. So let's go get started. All right, we are going to go through the color, the selectivator, the pillow, and then we will get started painting. So my first color, and this color palette is uh, one that I did a number of videos back, probably last year, and I'll link it. I really loved uh, it kind of looked like there was an alien peeking through in the swipe that I did with it. And so I wanted to do it on a bigger scale, but I changed it up just slightly. So you may recognize this color palette if you saw that video. But anyways, the first color I have is the PBO Studio Acrylics Iridescent Blue Black, my favorite color ever. And I have this all mixed up with my Valspar Varathane Pouring Medium Mix that color. Oops. And then my next color I have is this little piggy's pin, oops, that's upside down, Jody. Pinwheel. And that's what it looks like in the container. And here's what it looks like all mixed up. I've got this mixed up with my Dutch Boy Joe Sonia. This is the only one mixed with the Dutch Boy Joe Sonia pouring medium mix. Everything else is a Valspar Varathane. Now my next color, I have a mix. I started out with the uh, Joe Sonia black, black Umber and I mixed it with my pouring medium. And then I just added a little scoop of this little piggy's cappuccino. Kind of got that really pretty brownish gold going on. I wanted to kind of give it some sparkle, <laughs> to be honest. So, but it turned out really pretty. You can see. I mean, it it it, it basically looks like cappuccino, but it just has a, a more of a paint base to it because I started with the black umber. And I just wanted to see what would happen. I've used the cappuccino by itself, but I, I wanted to use black umber in here and we're just gonna go with what this turned out. It, it looks really pretty. I'm, I'm hoping it dries really nice. But anyway, there's that one. That is Valspar Varathane. And then finally, my last color I have got, this is Liquitex Professional. This is an acrylic gouache color, uh, fluorescent violet. This is the only gouache I've ever used because I love the color so much. It's like a, it's, it's a, it's a, it's between purple and pink. It's kind of, you know, on the line right there. But I love it. It's, it does mix up a bit thin. It's been, I've had it mixed up a little bit. It's kind of on the runnier side, but we're going to roll with it. We're not going to use that much anyway. So, but this is also Valspar Varathane. And my cell activators. I have two of my usual suspects. <laughs> These are both mixed with Australian Floetrol at four to one, four parts Australian Floetrol four parts Australian Floetrol and then one part paints. And this one part paint is Atelier Interactive, the uh, Mars Black. And it's a little bit on the thicker side, but since those a couple of those paints are thinner, I, I, I'm okay with that. I wanna see what happens. Sometimes if your cell activator is thicker, it just takes longer for your cells to develop. Uh, you know, but if it's too thick, you might you can always thin it down with more Floetrol. And then this one is the Atelier Interactive, the Titanium White, and it is a little bit thinner than the black. So those are the two cell activators and my pillow. My pillow, I've got a deeply full container. Of the PPG Multi Pro. I'm almost afraid to stir it, <laughs> but I have to because it's separating just a little bit on the top. Just give it a gentle stir. If you ever see your paint separating, just gently stir it, not to incorporate a lot of bubbles. But anyway, this is the consistency of the PPG Multi Pro. It's still um, on the thinner side for me because I am upstairs in my studio and it's a bit warmer up here than it is in my basement. But my paints are, they, they run thinner in the summer and they run thicker in the winter. So <laughs> this, this pillow will actually be back to its, its true thickness in the winter time. 
could it because it is a little bit on the thicker side than the Glidden uh, premium satin that I normally use. Now we're going to go over to the canvas. We're going to do it all in the spinner box today. So let's go over there and see what we're going to do. All right, for this piece, I have got a 16 by 20 oval canvas, whoops, that I've got taped up on the back here. And what I want to do today is I want to do palette knives wipes. I want the paint speak to speak for itself. And, you know, we're going to load everything up on the palette knives. And I may do some just cell activator swipes in between here with the black. And I, I may actually bring that silver in today. I, I do have it mixed up. I, I want to just see how the composition first is to see if I want to add it, but I've decided we're definitely going to use it in the next video. So <laughs> stay tuned because I do want to use it in a bloom. So I'm going to get this flooded and then we'll get started painting. All right. So I've got this all flooded here and I think I'm going to start with uh, this palette knife, one of my, my favorite palette knife, this one and the other one I normally use. I think I'm going to switch between these two and if I need you know, something smaller, I'll grab that, but I'm going to stick with these two. Right now, I'm going to do kind of bigger swipes with this one. So I'm going to load it up and I'll show you what it looks like. All right. For this one, I've got the black cell activator first. Then I put just a tiny drizzle of the white just for contrast. And then I have the blue black, the pinwheel, the black umber cappuccino mix, and then the fluorescent violet. Start right here. Ooh, getting some really neat bubblicious cells in there. All right, I really love these three. I mean, we're getting some really nice bubble cells in here. And I think because of the black cell activator, I showed you it was really thick, but it's not so thick that it's not coming through. It just takes a little bit and it creates those bubble cells with the with the white. Uh, I, I discovered that a while ago uh, in another swipe and I didn't know if I was gonna get it because it's so warm here, but we got bubble cells. So I'm going to take this tool actually, and I'm going to put the, the uh, I am going to use the silver cell activator. I'm going to show it to you first and uh, we're going to add that to this. Let me show you this really quickly. This is the silver cell activator that I had mixed up. This is uh, also Australian Floetrol at four to one, uh, four parts Floetrol, Australian Floetrol, one part paint. This is Atelier Interactive Silver. I've never used it, I don't know how it's going to, oops, sorry about that. There we go. I don't know how it's going to react. We're going to find out together. All right. I've got just a thin layer on this tool. So I want to put some kind of right in here. So make some pillow cells with that and see what happens.
I'm really liking how this is flowing. I want to spin this a couple times and I might add a little bit more or just, you know, pick some paint up and move it or we might just leave it. But I really want to uh, spin it a couple times first and get my composition going. movement in the middle. Hmm. I'm going to lose some of this cool stuff in the end, but and I, yeah, I'm going to lose this silver too <laughs> that I just put on there. All right, you know what? I'm going to do one more spin. I kind of want it to go this way a little. This is opening up nicely. Very nice. You know what? I don't I don't want to do anything to it. I am just feeling the vibe of this. Oh natural. Let's spin her again. <laughs> My plastic has a hole in it. It's getting caught. Oof. I kind of want this to get over to this edge here. Let's move this down just a little. Yeah, look at this. Oh my gosh. How's my paint? Oh, this is gorgeous. And I still got some of that silver in there too, which is good. Have a lot of movement. I think we're gonna be okay. I really don't want to touch it anymore, to be quite honest. Ooh, I love it that way. I, I I'm done. <laughs> I thought I'd be doing more with this piece. I really thought, but I just I love how organic it just kind of turned out. It's 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 simple, but uh, it's got some really nice depth in there with all those colors. And I think it can go either vertically or horizontally. So I am going to get cleaned up and I will bring you over for the flyover of this guy. All right, here it is as a whole. Oh my gosh. Ugh. I love how this came out. I mean, it just kind of, I thought I would be doing some more, you know, swishes and moving around, but I love how these cells developed. They, the, when they turn into bubble cells and they grow bigger, they kind of, they kind of, well, they look like that. <laughs> but I love how they kind of trailed off and there's some really neat shimmers that are gonna be in there. So I'm so excited to see how this dries and this is part of that sil silver cell activator. I'm really excited to see how that uh, works in there. I'm really glad I used it. Oh, look at these cells. Oh, I love this piece so much. Ooh, you see that blue black? And then the pinwheel, which also has kind of like that blue black as well. And this over here kind of got more of that uh, that violet undertone. Ooh, you know what? This may glow under a black light. Let's check it out. <laughs> you know me and black lights. All right, let's 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 see what happens first. Not as much as I thought at all. Yeah, there's not a lot. That's all right. It still looks really cool. I just wanted an excuse to turn on the black light. It does have a nice subtle glow to it. All right, I'll be back once this is dried to show you the dried results. I thought I would bring you outside today to show off this piece. It dried really, really nicely. So I wanna just dive in and I'll show you the shimmers and we'll go through orientations later, but uh, those bubble cells, I love how they just kind of, they've got just a hint of white around them. 
and then the black, but uh, they kind of stayed bubble cells. I'm so excited about that. And I just love the flow of this piece. And that silver, I'm really excited to try this uh, on a bigger scale with uh, a floating blue, but you can kind of see that blue black in there. We'll see that more, but uh, all these cells, they just say, they just stayed the way they were. I absolutely love this piece and it can definitely go multiple ways. So let's check out the shimmers right now. Ooh yeah, see that blue black in there? Gorgeous, and that silver's coming out as well. This piece is subtle, it's kind of sneaky. It sneaks up on you. It looks a little bit unassuming as you look at it dead on, but when you tilt it, it gets that really neat blue black shimmer in there. All right, let's go check out some orientations. Ooh, I really like it this way as well. <laughs> this is really nice too. I have a feeling there's not a bad orientation for this piece. Yep, I was right. <laughs> All four ways it can go. I love when that happens. So let me know your favorite orientation. I'm gonna flip you around and give you my final thoughts on this piece. I think this is my favorite vertical orientation. I have a favorite horizontal, a favorite vertical, but it can definitely go all four ways. So let me know what your favorite orientation is and uh, what you thought of this piece, how you liked the color palette as well, and the silver cell activator. I'm really excited to work with that. That is coming in a floating bloom next video. I may have to use this color palette, we'll see. <laughs> But uh, at any rate, I'd love to hear your thoughts on this piece. So let me know in the comments below. So with that, thank you so much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time.